Hi guys, how are you? It's me, Joanne. How are you? I'm coming with this presentation for you guys today. Um, I um, it was involved in an internship at my community college, with, which was Transformative Justice, um, and it was with UMass Dartmouth, um, UMass Law, and my college. Um, I worked with some amazing women, and um, we began to um, try to figure out ways that we can begin applying transformative justice within our colleges and our communities. Um, we were you doing this during the semester, and um, we we brought this together under the guidance of the late great Bell Hooks. So since colonization, both men and women of the earth have been subject to the brutality and control of their colonizers. For the colonizer to gain control and make a profit, he um, must dictate the identities of his colony. The focus of this presentation will be on toxic masculinity. To the left on this first slide, there is a flyer from New Orleans printed on March 24, 1840. Um, it reads, Valuable Gang of Young Negroes. See, Black people, especially black men, were seen as valuable so long as they were able to perform their master, um, master's duties. Not much has been left for us blacks here in the Western world. Um, our identities have been completely erased and our ways have been replaced by that of the colonizers. So as I said, the colonizers molded our descendants into what they believe to be valuable, not what we view to be valuable. So therefore, we must be extremely cautious with the ways we choose to behave because of we may be doing a disservice to ourselves. Just like the picture of the man on the top left page, his woman holds on as he and her break the chains that hold them back. This too we must do. So This message is not just directed to black people, okay? So I don't want everyone to get um, it mixed up because slavery affected not just black folks, but white people too. It also is detrimental to the lives of all Americans. This history was dark. This message is not to throw jabs, but the government that we have today does not consider themselves colonizers anymore and no more than we consider ourselves to be slaves so it's understandable um, if anyone takes offense to um, what was just said so even still we carry so many examples of how effective slavery and colonization are was in breaking of all men and women okay so our current system and government still profits greatly from this brokenness we still carry on so many of the ideas that made the system of slavery so profitable most men in our society are raised to be bred um, winners and strong masculine aggressive to be providers so that we have the bodies to keep up the power structure you know, men are told that they are not real men if they are not providers and protectors. Violence is used to gain control, and we call it discipline to enforce our will on others. We as mothers and members of the community have played a role in indoctrinating men into violence by saying things like, be a man. Men are expected to use violence when they feel disrespected. They subject themselves to all sorts of conditions to overcompensate and prove their manhood. Men are encouraged to go to war and use violence in the name of being a protector. He puts his body through endless trauma to become the biggest sports star, which is a way to prove his manhood and provide. They are placed in hazardous environments to work for money and to prove their manhood. And he exploits other women and their sexuality also to prove his desirability and his manhood. The reason is simply that men who will fight the wars that win us nations and do the labor that builds our economy takes a lot of masculine energy, so much so it often turns toxic. Men who will sacrifice their well-being and health to win big games and the men who will exploit their women for money and fame. All of these men are valuable to the powers that be. These types of men are to the types of men that create profits. 
but these are the very same behaviors that have led us to be in the violent and destructive place that we are in today. Healthy masculinity is not what has been fed to us by those who profit from it, from toxic masculinity. We must stop expecting men to fall in line with this ideology. Toxic masculinity was designed to create profit, not peace in society. Healthy masculinity is analytical, competitive, singular, rational, determined, linear, logical, objective, assertive, and goal-directed. Masculinity lives in both men and women, although society forces us to ignore the feminine energies. Femininity is intuitive, collaborative, adept at multitasking, emotional, passionate, creative, empathetic, receptive, and allowing for flow. When a man or a woman leans too much to one side of masculinity or femininity, it then becomes toxic. <clears throat> society reinforces toxic masculinity. We as a society continue to push these narratives of what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman and all of its toxicity. Many men struggle and the certainty of this, with the certainty of their sexuality or even what their needs are. Men struggle with fears, weaknesses, lack of employment and educational opportunities, and often their safety. But for us as a society, we only value courage, honor, virility, and physical strength. Them being our protectors, providers, authority figures, those are the things that matter to us. We don't allow men to be any of these things that are associated with femininity. They hardly have a voice and many do not fall into these categories that we so deeply desire from them. This also limits the number of emotions they're allowed to feel and who they are actually allowed to be. Both black and white men are struggling to keep a steady income Men in general are expected to have a high income and be strong and handsome. We create the expectation for the men to be everything and, and the all protector, the big strong protector. Not all men fit these criteria. Many overcompensate either by committing crimes in search of money or opportunity. They engage in being overly sexual to turn or turn to violence and weapons to prove their manhood. These expectations are reinforced by everyone agreeing with these standards. We as women have the power to change these expectations. Simply by letting go of these expectations, we can create a less toxic environment. Let's not forget why we even hold these types of values. Not just the ones for men, but women also. That's a whole other discussion for another day. Let us be ourselves and start rejecting the ideas we hold so dear that we created by that was created by an oppressive patriarchy so before you try to dominate another person or feel the need to prove your dominance every time we reinforce reinforce these views and say things like be a man or be a woman ask yourself where does that come from and who does that come from is it coming from you these toxic ideas exist in our justice system our entertainment, in corporation, and in our industries. This type of toxicity exists within our homes. This is not a natural state for men or women. If we truly want to save our children and ourselves, we must disinvest in people, places, and things that push this toxicity. The pressure to be strong and rich is so great that men and women are going to great lengths to live up to these standards. Some have the privilege to deliver with ease and others must overcompensate to measure up. I can relate to being caught up in toxic masculinity myself, whether nine, my, whether it was, um, overly masculine or being overly feminine, overly rational or overly protective. I'm capable of being both. I have used yoga as a way to balance these energies. Doing balancing exercises and strengthening both sides of the body has helped me find that balance. Learning how to be still and not reactionary 
I have learned how to listen and not be judgmental. This has allowed me to transform my behaviors. Reading about bell hooks and Lauren Hansberry, um, femininity, black femininity, feminism, has helped me tap into black balanced femininity and has also helped me um, take the steps that I need to help transform myself and my partner, my friends, my family. I speak to my family, my therapist, my partner. Those things keep me grounded. Neither way of being is right or wrong, but getting the right balance is crucial to the state of our wellness and our communities. Let us not help pull those triggers by pushing toxic masculinity. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye.